Well, folks, do I have some news for you? I don't know how to start this, so we're just going to go right into it. There I was, just minding my own normal nerd-like business, yet again, enjoying the nice beautiful day, and a nice cool pillow, just enjoyed some sunlight. You know, just normal stuff, as is. And then, out of nowhere, some interesting bit of news has popped into my feed. Turns out, this game that I've been doing for a good minute, and I love so much, even though it's causing me some crazy amounts of stress, has been announced a remake. Yes, yes, yes. For those who have been watching me, or those who are curious about this game, I have some interesting news for you. They have announced Rain Code Plus, because the Spike Chunsoft gods, or whoever is working on this bad boy, has decided, you know what? Mass Detective is good, but you know what would be better? More money, and more resources to get more money. Okay, that bit may be a bit of a joke, but what is true is yes, they have announced that they're doing a remake of Master Detect- Oh, excuse me, my voice is going. Let me try that again. <coughs> mm, hello, hello, that's better. Uh, they have announced, yes, that they're doing Master Detective Rain Code Plus, the reimagining, well, not really reimagining, but a re-release of Master Detective. As folks may know, up until this point, so YouTube, by the time this video is out, it should still be before that re-release is, more or less, I'm hoping. Yeah, it's probably going to be. But later on this summer, I believe they're doing it July 18th. I can look up the date as I'm talking. But they are, oh, excuse me, they have announced Master Detective Rain Club Plus, which is basically a re-release for modern consoles. So this game originally was Switch, as you guys could tell, because, I mean, hello, I played on Switch. Did you notice my nice Mithra background? Oh, that's what, 4%? I should really charge my Switch. Um, so they announced Master Detective Rain Code Plus, which is now coming to every other console. So PS5, Series X, I'm pretty sure Steam as well. Um, I'm, I'm trying to like think of every other system, but I think it is just every other like major system, all things considered. So uh, yeah, so if you guys have been interested in this game and you're like, oh, I really want to play it, but I don't want to like deal with it on Switch or... Maybe you want to have, like, a better version of the game. Well, better is relatively speaking. I guess nicer performing version of the game. Then they have announced that they're doing it. Uh, Wait, ooh, excuse me, not July 18th. October 1st. Ooh, I'm so sorry. It is not the summer. It is the fall. It is coming out. Oh, I, I know why I got the dates confused. It's coming out in Japan July 1st. Uh, But here in the West, they're doing it in October. Uh, October 1st. So, yeah, those in the West, you got to wait till October. But those in the East... I'm oh, sorry, those, yeah, those in the East and Japan, man, must be nice getting it in a couple of months, huh? But yeah, um, what are they doing with the new changes? The Plus version is basically adding, like, 4K compatibility. The loading times are definitely reduced, which I don't think I mind as much. Um, they're introducing a gallery mode, which I thought about was funny. So the gallery mode is, for what I gathered, uh, you have the ability to relive the cutscenes or specific moments or images how you want. Which is funny because I stream this, so... I guess it doesn't really affect me that much. I guess if I want to see certain cutscenes and stuff quicker, that's all fine and dandy. There's also the issue of being able to, like... Well, compared to this mode, like, the version you're listening to and watching right now. Where if I were to, like, go back to, let's say, the moment when Fubuki said, Dummy Thick, which is probably one of my favorite moments this entire playthrough. I could probably go to the gallery mode and see that, imagining. Whereas in this, I have to go back to that episode or go to that chapter, blah, blah, blah. So I guess it's a bit more convenient. But... The thing that definitely got my interest and probably threw me for a whole different tizzy, I guess we'll say, was that they added sub-stories for the characters. Um, I didn't know this game had DLC. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to say it right now. I didn't know this game had DLC. Uh, I did get the collector's edition, the Mystery Full. I talked about that way back when. And it came with this um, it came with this visual novel that it's coming in waves. I guess some part of me forgot, but it was about Yakao. And now I'm a little upset concerning what I know. I'll talk about the spoilers in a minute, but knowing what I know now, it makes me wonder what's the point of reading it, but I'm going to have to read it after this playthrough is done. But yeah, when I saw the announcement for Plus, I was not uh, expecting, I guess is the better word, that they were doing DLC. So there seems to be a DLC for each of the other major characters. So one for the Chief, one for Desahiko, one for Fubuki, one for Holara, and one for Vivia. I don't know... I'm assuming, at least from considering the circumstances of this, and I don't know what's happening with my friends right now, but I'm assuming it's taking place before they get to Kanai Ward, or at least at the very least, maybe they're in Kanai Ward, but before I get to Kanai Ward, because there was an interval of time where they were here before me, 
like, I remember back in the early beginning when the chief was like, all right, at last everyone's here, which meant that everyone else came here. So I'm assuming the DLC is before Yuma, us, we get to Kanai Ward, but I am curious about it. And I did see the DLC is up to getting uh, on Switch, so I might, you know, get my hands on that, might be doing some bonus episodes. So I guess this playthrough is not close to done yet. But what's funny to me is uh, I saw that announcement a couple of days ago and had a number of people in my chat, a number of my lovely connoisseurs of the culture give me that information. And one person was saying, are you going to stop playing this version of the game and just wait for that version? And I thought to myself, considering how far I've gotten, am I really going to wait several months just to play a, a nicer performing version? I like this version. The Switch version is nice. Like the animation, this is good. I don't think I've complained once about the graphics. The loading times, meh. I don't really care about that. I've had a blast doing this. I don't really see a point in me getting the plus edition. I mean, yeah, maybe getting the DLC all in one shot would have been convenient, but I could just get the DLC. It's fine. I like this game enough that I'm more than happy to give more money, even though I'm broke and I need money. But yeah, uh, just to tie things over, finish it off. If you want to play this game for yourself or you've been watching this so far and you're like, yo, I really want to play this game. You, I've been seeing Vitamin DGR's episodes, and I was like, yo, I want to see for myself the experiences, or maybe try different things, even though you can just be watching my episodes for cheating, whatever. Uh, yeah, that October 1st in the West, they're doing Master Detective Brain Code. I'm certain that you can pre-order it right now, both physically and digitally. I heard that there is a pre-order bonus for, I think, the special edition, where it is a extra visual novel, but this time featuring Halara. So I don't know how that's going to be. And I'm curious if maybe the Switch version gets it. I hope that we get one of, the, of those things for the Switch. Or there's something I can do to get that for the Switch. Because I would love to read more about these characters. I love this game. I really, really do. This is definitely one of my top games of the year. For sure. Believe me, I wouldn't be playing it otherwise. Um, but yeah, just want to toss it in there. But now that that's out of the way, welcome, welcome, my lovely comments of the culture. Obviously, you're watching Raid Code. Uh, Twitch, yeah, I'm doing this at a weird time, I know. Uh, this past Tuesday was a bit awkward. YouTube, this will be on a normal Tuesday, so you don't have to worry about it. But, man, where do I begin with the recap? Ah, uh, boy. Well, okay, so I'm gonna talk into some spoiler stuff, so I'm just giving you guys a heads up right now. Like, seriously. I, I'm not even gonna really do the description spoiler warning, because I'm gonna see if you guys are actually gonna listen to my words here. Normally I would. But I don't think gameplay-wise, especially because we're in Chapter 5, I need to do it right now. But I'm just saying right now, like, verbally. Spoiler warnings, I'm going to talk about it. Uh, yeah, so last chapter, unfortunately, we... Well, the chapter, yeah, in general. We found out that the Chief was responsible for the uh, death of Dr. Hueska. And we, I was right about my suspicion about that woman in that picture. I still don't really know the whole detail. Apparently, this is all updated. Oh. Wow, that actually hurts to see that. It it actually really does hurt to see that. Oh man, this super sucks. Uh, in order to avenge his wife who was murdered, was murdered four years ago, Yako sacrificed his life to murder Dr. Hueska in Amaterasu's lab. But we found out that twisted freaking Yomi was responsible for it. So, man, I can't stand that guy. God, I... Ugh. I'm... I'm feeling chill, I'm feeling calm. Last episode, I was heated, I was emotional. And the episode before that, almost if not just as equally uh, heated and emotional. And I need to calm down because Yomi's hopefully done for. I mean, Martina, is that her name? Yeah, Martina came alive, which was a surprise, and she came and arrested him. So hopefully Yomi's out of the picture. I really hope this dude doesn't come back. But then again, Martina came back, though she wasn't dead, so I guess it's possible. But yeah, we found out that Yomi was responsible uh, for setting up the chief. And what sucks is that we wanted to get Yomi, but unfortunately, Shinigami was like, yeah, you can only do it for the people who's directly responsible, which is some stupid loophole BS to me. But unfortunately, chief is donezo, and that really broke my heart. And just as we were trying to get our bearings together and we got the motivation to keep going, now we found ourselves being dr- Oh, somebody was, I don't know, what the heck's going on outside? Uh, anyway, uh, I don't know if that picked up on the uh, audio. But yeah, um, when I was done, Makoto, of all people, gave us this little black box. It's like, oh, I have a present for you. I hope you like it. You should check it out later. And I was suspicious because I don't like him. Like, yeah, he came in clutch and helped us with Yomi, but it doesn't mean I like him. Like, he was great in that moment, and we all have to have, we have to give one person at least one moment. But I didn't like Makoto for what he did then. I don't know, something about him seems shady. And unfortunately, my suspicions were proven because we got a, um, what was it? The visual meeting from number one. 
who's this dude here. And as you can see here, he's the number one of the, uh, the WDO. I was about to say WB. But he and the rest of the building got blown up. Well, okay, so I'm assuming he must have survived. I mean, he's number one for a reason. So there's no way this dude's really toast, right? I I'm pretty sure it's some big old red herring. I don't think they're going to do like they did in Chapter Zero, where the characters I get to know and like, they're going to be gone and... <laughs> Melanie. But yeah, the WDO building was destroyed because of some terrorist activity. And then the rest of the Nocturnal Detective Agency, us, uh, Halara, Desahiko, the rest of us, including Kurumi, we all got drugged and knocked out. And now we found ourselves... Uh, actually, I don't know where this is. We're so weird, like horror show kind of thing. But you know what else is trippy? There's these weird, like, zombie things outside that I have no clue what the heck is going on. It's freaking me out. I didn't think this game was going to delve into that. Like, yeah, we already had a thing with Fortes and kind of superpowers and the Mystery Labyrinth, but they're throwing zombies at me? Like, wh what else can they do? But then again, we just started Chapter 5, so I have no clue. But yeah, there's your recap. I should read these profiles. Um, there is a gumshoe gab I'm going to do to continue the episode. Um... Uh, is there any new information? After seeing number one's contempt for Yakao's death, Halara voiced strong emotions not typically shown. Oh, yeah, there is new information. Actually, I should probably read for everyone else, huh? Uh, let's see. Forte's disguise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. After seeing number one's contempt for Yakao's death following the Amaterasu lab incident, he nearly exploded with rage and disgust. That's true. Because when the chief was gone, a lot of us were... Well, I was on Desiko's side because number one was like, yeah, well, what the fuck's the fuck? But you gotta get the mission done. So I've never been more like on Tesuko's side in my entire life than that moment. Because the chief, or chief, when number one was like moving on, Tesuko was pissed. And I was like, yeah, like I get it. You have to do the mission because whatever. But you can't disregard the chief's life. Like the guy is, the guy's the goat. And what's also crazy too is that we did also get some information about this supposed case. Apparently it's some mass kidnapping. We still don't really know what the whole deal is with that. Uh, let's see here. Uh, desperate to save the dying Yako during the Amaterasu lab incident, she repeatedly turned back time. But unable to go back to before he was attacked, she felt utterly helpless. Upon Yako's death, she wheeled uncontrollably. Oh. But yeah, Vivia was definitely, like, the spotlight last episode. I've never, like... I've never been on such a big roller coaster of emotions from anybody else. Even the Chief didn't get... Well, he did get me. But Vivia was, like, close. Like, they're neck and neck. Because at first, I was like, alright, Vivia just has... His quiet moments where he talks like this. But it also has moments where it was super emotional and you wouldn't tell. Even Desahiko was like, man, he's just all cool as a cucumber. Doesn't care at all. But we know the truth. Sorry, I'm getting heated again. Uh, let's see here. What's what's the new thing? Having enjoyed the time spent at the agency with Yakao, he refused to let the truth of Dr. Huesca's murder come to light despite knowing the identity of the culprit. He turned against Yuma inside the Mystery Labyrinth. But after witnessing Yuma's resolve to face even the most bitter facts, he decided to expose the truth. When he found out Yomi was manipulating Yako, he felt immense frustration and hatred. I really hope that this dude is gone. If Yomi it comes back, I'm gonna rage. After exposing the truth behind the incident at the Amaterasu lab, he took Yako's life with his own hands. Though filled with anguish, he remembered Yako's last words and vowed to lay bare the truth behind Kanai Ward, however cruel it may be. Where is this fool? Where is, where is he? You better be gone. You better be gone. He conspired with Dr. Huesca to secretly make deals with corporations outside of Kanai Ward, which, to, I, on, to my understanding, was doing it so he can actually take control of it and wrestle control from Makoto, because I guess he couldn't just, you know, go after Makoto since he's the CEO and all. Uh, but when the doctor double-crossed him, Yomi spurred Yako into murdering him. After capturing Yumi and the others, Yomi planned to bury them along with the truth. Makoto appeared with incriminating documents that led to Yomi's downfall. He was then arrested and taken away by Martina. Arrested is not enough for me. I'm not one to believe in capital punishment. I'm not... Even, it's hard, but I don't believe in capital punishment. Uh, not, well, okay. It's not that I don't believe it, but I'm not one of the people that's in, like, for it. But I gotta say, there's gotta be some exceptions to the rest. Uh, let's see here. Makoto saved her moments before execution, and she sought to deliver judgment on Yomi for his crimes. After all of Yomi's misdeeds were revealed and he was arrested, Martina took responsibility for her own complicity, resigned from her position, and left. Yeah, so she came back, arrested Yomi, and we have no clue what happened. And that makes me kind of curious about, like, the rest of you guys. Like, what happened to this fool? We ever dealt with Swank and Ever. Is he still, like, alive? What happened to him? 
Like, we dealt with him back in the first, in chapter zero, actually, but I don't think we've seen him since. Is he still, like, I don't know, eating meat buns or something? He looks like he just inhales those things. Probably has bad lungs. Anywho, uh, let's see, because thing. Yeah, so this dude's clearly bad, too. We already figured it, but now we don't know what the heck's going on. Uh, acting in secret behind the scenes of Dr. Hueska's murder case, he secured documents that led to Yomi's downfall. He intends to restructure Amaterasu and the Peacekeepers to bring about a change in the winds of Kanai Ward. The gift he gave Yuma caused all the master detectives gathered at the Eternal Detective Agency to pass out. So clearly he's going to be our next obstacle. Though I don't know why he's doing that. Is there any new information? Oh. Uh, I guess I should... He colluded with Peacekeeper Director Yomi... Director? Director Yomi to secretly sell off Abaterasu technology, planning all the while to double-cross Yomi and flee Kanai Ward. Pretending to use the turmoil caused by the hitman to fake his own demise, he was instead stabbed and killed by Yako, who sought revenge for his murdered wife. Yomi prompted Yako to commit the murder in order to get rid of the backstabbing Dr. Weska while keeping his own hands clean. And then Fink is just... The only thing he did was just kill the chief, but that was only because the chief asked for it, so... We still don't know about this dude, huh? But yeah, I think that's everything. Alright. I've done enough wordy. Let's go get this gumshoe, Gab. Which is a Polara? Okay. Might as well do this and see what's happened. We did Desahiko's last time. We got the last one, I think, for him. Yeah, we got Desahiko's last one. And I'm actually tempted off camera to just kind of look at them all again. Because these were fun to do. Still gotta find uh, the Chief, Fubuki, and uh, Vivius. But yeah, alright. I've done enough wording. I think that's pretty much everything you need to know. So let's just get right to it. And of course, if you like this content, you love hearing the lovely sound of my voice, or if you managed to stick with me this long and you're like, wow, V, like this is something crazy. I actually really enjoy this. But by all means, I greatly appreciate any support you can give to me by following me on Twitch with the handle of Vitamin DGR. That's right, Vitamin DGR. I'm a licensed vitamin. I'm good for your health and good for your soul. You may subscribe to skip those pesky ads I know keep popping up in your face every now and then. But of course, some of you guys may be watching this on YouTube where you can like and share the video and hopefully subscribe as well. Really appreciate the support. Halara asked for me, so I'm at the cafe. Um, Halara, did you want something from me? Yes. You still owe me a debt of 50 million shien. Like, wait, wasn't it 10 million? I charge interest. Do you really have to ask? It's about your debt, obviously. Oh, wow, it is. Well, how do you plan on paying me back? Uh, oh, I, I made that as a joke. I did not know. Uh... You take IOUs? It's like, no. Uh, I don't really know what I have to offer. And then Halara just was like, Well, you do have a working liver and kidneys. I'm pretty sure you probably have an appendix. Also, your shoes look pretty clean. And you don't really need that hat. You want me to sell all of that? It's like, well, I'll give you a little bit of a start. I don't... Sorry. I don't have any money. I don't think the chief actually paid me since I've been here do anything but apologize it appears you have no repayment plan in place if you don't change that soon i will consider implementing interest oh please don't i i bet i'm a content creator everyone knows that this job doesn't make money we have to go for appealing to people's better like kindness and sincerity you really think i'm good out of nowhere making like you think i'm gonna get all my people watching me to be like hey dudes like people Lara knows where I live. Like, they figured it out. I need you guys to, like, donate some Shein. I don't know what a Shein is, but seriously, I I'm scared. Plus, we know Halara could destroy me. She could fold me like a folding table. But I don't want to piss them off. Please don't. Then you better come up with a plan to pay me back. Uh. Uh, all right. But if all you wanted to talk about was my dead, why'd you invite me here? We could have gone over it at the agency. So you couldn't weasel your way out of it. I'm certain that even though there's no people on the screen, there's probably some customers or two, so if you try to run away, we'll get attention. I don't want you to grow accustomed to owing me. People oh. lose their sense of urgency in paying back debts when complacent. That's why I'm reminding you right now. That's true. I see. Good point. It's not my place to say since I'm the one in debt here, but... Don't you make enough money as a detective, Halara? You're always trying to make more. What do you need all that money for anyway? Well, it's simple. At every full moon, I must donate a thousand Shien to the moon gods. And then uh, Yuma's just like, what? 
and then all of a sudden Halara's like personality completely shifts. He's like, oh Lunala, the great moon god in the sky. Every full moon I must give a thousand dollars to it, otherwise I lose my intelligence and my forte. You understand, don't you? You believe in my religion? Would you like to convert to our religion? And then Halara just like completely flips out and you were just like, oh, you're crazy. Okay, I gotta go somewhere else. And then Halara's just like, oh no, you don't get to leave. I want my thousand dollars. Lunala knows you. He sees you when you sleep and knows when you're awake. <laughs> I suppose I can tell you. Huh? If I continue to save at this rate, I will be able to create a program in about six years. A program? That is what the money is for. A program? A program that will save 30% of all cats around the world experiencing hardship. Oh, trying to do an organization, like a charity organization to save cats. Okay. Yeah, I, I kind of forgot. I think it was the last gumshoe gab that Halara was interested in cats. Other than money, I think that's the only thing Halara really cares about because they don't care about humans anymore. What? Oh, uh, hmm. That caught me so off guard that I don't know what to say. You want to start a charity? No, not a charity. This is all for oh. my personal satisfaction. Wait, are you trying to like keep cats? It's like, yes, I'm trying to build a whole building. I want a building dedicated to cats, kittens, cats of all shapes and sizes. And once I get enough money, that goal will grow to even bigger cats like jaguars, ligers, and tigers, and more. You want to keep tigers and jaguars? Like right now, I have about like six kittens, but I can only hope to grow. Oh, wait, no, I can't make that joke because Halara's allergic to cats. Yeah, never mind. That joke's kind of thrown away. Whoops. Cats provide a healing experience, so I want to give back to them in some way. That's all. That's amazing! How wonderful! Enough. As I said, this is all for my personal satisfaction. I don't want to hear your praise for it. All I want is your money so I can make it happen. Like, fair point. Oh, but if it's so important, why did you tell me? I didn't even threaten you or anything. Yes, about that. I'm sure you already know this, but... A detective can lose their life at any moment. Yes? Yeah, little, you did teach me that. A little morbid of a statement, but why are you bringing that up now? So if I were to die, I want you to carry out this plan for me. Oh. Oh, I, oh. I wasn't expecting that. I mean, I'm, I'm honored, but at the same time, it, maybe this is presumptuous of me, but I don't see Halara... Okay, this is this is forward of me, but if any of the match detectors were to go, unless something happens, although Yuma, I'm excluding us because we've been unusually lucky, but between the other match detectors, I think Desahiko would be the first to go. He could get swindled by a hot lady and get poisoned, that's for sure. Uh, so I think Desahiko would be next to go, first to go. Then, I don't know who'd be next, because maybe Vivia? Vivian's pretty skilled though, but I don't know. He, it takes a lot of boxy to get him motivated, so I guess maybe Vivia. Um, yeah, I guess maybe Vivia, and then maybe Halara. Well, I don't know because Halara is extremely skilled and talented, and yeah, I'm putting them on a high pedestal. But I don't think Fubuki would be like among the earlier ones. Like, yeah, she may not be able to fight, but. I can't stress enough how like BS the time leap ability is. Granted, she can't go super far back, but she can go far back enough to be aware of it and then plan. And then, yeah, if I strengthened it kind of like a quirk, I can only imagine just how far back Bubaki could go. So I don't know. I don't know. I'm not trying to like be bored about this, but of the other mass detectives, who do you think would be like, who, oh, you know what better way to ask us uh, chat or YouTube when you let your comments uh, fly in the comment section? Let me know. Who do you think is the first or who has the best survival odds and the lowest survival odds? I'm, I'm curious and then please let me know. I want to talk about it. I've been thinking it over for a while. I figured this was a good time to tell you. Huh? Why me though? I'm not sure myself. Why do you think? Uh, we both like cats to replace the debt I owe. I'm trustworthy. 
Hmm. But was it confirmed that Yuma likes cats? I don't think so. Um. Hmm. I don't really know. I. I don't think it's the trust. Well, okay. So I want to say I'm trustworthy, but I gotta think of it like Halara. I think I should say the debt I owe because I have so much of a debt that I feel obligated to do it to repay my debt because Halara already doesn't trust humans. So I think it'd make more sense to say the debt thing because Halara says, oh, okay, well, normally you would think that you would see yourself trustworthy, but I don't trust human beings. But what I do trust is that people are obligated when money is involved. Money is a necessary a necessity. So blah, blah, blah. You owe me. So you're going to do this for me. Does this replace the debt I owe you? Don't insult me. No? Oh, oh, I thought I was reaching gold here. I wouldn't choose you as my successor for such a foolish reason. Uh, okay. Way to just spit in my face and make me think otherwise. I outplayed myself. Oh, really? Is it trustworthy, though? Looks like I was wrong. In that case... Could it be that it's because you trust me? I hope I'm not assuming too much there. I can't believe that. I mean, I can. We've grown a long while with Lara, but I really thought that debt thing made sense. Oh, I just embarrassed myself. I usually do. Incorrect. No matter who it is, I will not trust any human. Wait, what? It was both liking cats? Are you serious? So it is not accurate to say I trust you. I see. However, I wouldn't mind being betrayed by you. Or rather... I would accept a betrayal at your hands. Huh? I'm getting mixed messages here. I'm, I'm really confused. Isn't that practically the same as trusting me? In my mind, it's entirely different. I don't trust you. But you wouldn't mind if I betrayed and lied to you? Okay, I'm sorry. I'm really confused here. Okay. But the way you said you wouldn't mind if I betrayed you, that makes me way happier than if you just said you trusted me. Yeah, I, I agree with that. <sighs> anyway, we were discussing something else. You will pay your debt to me in full. Yeah, yeah, I know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you should be laughing. Yo, 10 million Sheehan, buddy. You're going to be working that off for the rest of your measly little human life. Good for you, Master. I'm happy for you. That is cute, though. We finally worked our way out to Halara to, uh, with Halara's trust, or distrust, however you want to say it, to the point where they don't mind if we betray them. Which I don't think I've... I don't know how I would feel if I go up to my friends and be like, okay, so I don't trust you. But I wouldn't mind being betrayed by you. So, how do you feel about that? I think most of my friends would look at me and be like, "Why are we friends with him? Why? Why do? Why do we? Why do we entertain him?" But it's fascinating, though, isn't it? That's actually a really like amazing thing. In a weird way, I don't know. It just take me a se it took me a second to understand that they wouldn't mind being betrayed by me. Obviously, I don't want to betray anybody. I like them all, but. The point where they don't mind being betrayed? It's crazy to me. Oh, now I'm back here. That's that's right. What, what do we do? I have to find something quick. Hmm. There's gotta be something we can use. Uh what's this? Hmm? An envelope? There's a letter inside. What's the letter? D! For cranberries! I love cranberries. That's a reference if anybody gets that. Evacuation order. Yesterday, toxic gas was discovered to be leaking from the nearby mines. This area has been purchased by Amaterasu Corporation and has been designated as off-limits. Oh, it is the restricted area. All residents are hereby requested to evacuate the area immediately. An evacuation order from Amaterasu Corp. What oh, fallout nonsense is that? I see. I think I know where we are. Yuma, this is the restricted area. Yeah. I mean, we came to that conclusion last episode, but that was basically just confirming it. Supposedly, it was a 
tiny village that was abandoned due to a toxic gas leak from a nearby mine. Oh, I completely forgot about that, though. Ever since then, the whole area has been restricted. So this is where you were talking about. Hmm. Huh. Isn't this where the corpse processing facility is supposed to be? This is becoming more of a horror story by the minute! Spooky, spooky, spooky! Yeah, like it's like a uh like a visual horror picture show. Ooh, I think I just came up with my title for the episode. Oh yeah, that rumor. I need to confirm it with Karumi. Uh well first. Anything else around here? Maybe. There could be other places I haven't checked yet. Oh, well, I checked everything. I can't go back because that's where bad things are. Maybe. We can find something here that can be used as a weapon. Oh, a clock! Mm. That's it! Let's see. The hands of the clock are covered with dust. I guess they haven't been moved for a while. Hmm. I don't think they make for good weapons either. Right, better look somewhere else. Was I actually planning on using the clock as a weapon? The only thing I do is talk to Kurumi. Oh, there was something behind her. Oh well. There's something I need to ask you. Huh? What is it? Halara was investigating the restricted area and mentioned something. In Kanai Ward, corpses rot easily due to the humidity from the rain, so they are quick to retrieve bodies. The corpses are then loaded onto trucks and transported to the restricted area for disposal. But that process is managed by a department with a handful of people working directly for Amaterasu's CEO. Which we already know is bad news, but I guess that's not really surprising at this point. On top of that, they are only involved in transportation. They aren't aware of what happens afterwards. How the bodies are buried and who buries them is a mystery. Really? So the rumors about it being a corpse processing facility were true? And yet there's zombies around here, so I'm I'm trying to understand the, the, the parallel or the connections here, excuse me. I thought you'd know. No, I don't. But why a corpse processing facility? Maybe Amaterasu is secretly disposing bodies used for human experimentation. Oh, maybe... Oh, for the homunculus thing. That... Now that I think about it, I don't know why I... For some reason listened to Makoto and he was like, Yeah, there's no such thing as homunculus. They're probably using homunculus or humans for... Wait a minute, I just thought about something. I, I mean, obviously I don't know if I'm right because I've been proven wrong before, but this is a guess. Because number one said that the big case that's going on was mass kidnappings, right? What if Amaterasu is trying to make, like, like, I don't want to say super soldiers, but I, I guess homunculus in this way, like, perfect humans to, like, I don't know, make Amaterasu bigger and better, and they kidnap humans for it, and they use parts of them to do so? I I'm thinking it kind of like Full Metal Alchemist, like, they take parts of them in order to, like, I'm thinking Full Metal Alchemist cross like a really niche reference of Adventure Time, which I don't think anybody's gonna get. But they have like parts of them that they use and splice it together to make like man-made beings. And then the rest of the humans, well, now that they're dead, of course, are just discarded. And hence the corpse disposing facility. But I don't know why there are zombies here though. That's that's what's getting me. I don't really get that. Again, this is just a reach. I'm most likely wrong, but I'm just Hey, I'm allowed to throw a guess, yeah? If that's the case, what if bodies coming back to life was an unexpected side effect of the experiment? Why? Oh, I, I, some dumb reason didn't think that. Would that mean they really are zombies? But that can't be. A corpse can't come back to life. If so, then... Actually, I don't even want to think that. Oof supposed to be dead they sure didn't smell like corpses to me huh? they're not but they didn't really seem alive either you know it's kind of messed up if the death god doesn't even know what the heck they are what are they if the story of the toxic gas from the mines is true 
These could be the residents suffering from it. So, zombies. Sort of. Anyway, we'll make some of that info a solution key just in case. Okay, we're already getting that. Okay. Restricted area of Kanai Ward where zombie like creatures wander. Great. All right. Oh, God. Zombies! Ew, they're all dirty! Yo, Yuma! Come on, crew, we gotta get out of here! Welcome, welcome, fan night to the stream. Wait, what the frick? Wait, but how? Wait, huh? How they. What the heck is going on? What? You? How? Yo, that's not right. I think we're in the wrong genre. Zombies don't show up in mystery titles. <laughs> nice fourth wall break. Hey, master, you better scram before you get eaten. What is going on? Let's run. How are they? Yeah. But they died. They they were chapter two. I my brain hurts. Whoa. They can apparently in this game. Uh, I don't know what genre this this game is anymore. Wait, there's a on the arrow. Yeah, we can use the arrow to fight the zombies. Somehow all three of them. This way. What the heck is going on? How are they back? When I said surprised you didn't subscribe to Master Tech of Archives Rainco Plus. I just talked about that. <laughs> Also, how are you doing, my friend? It's been a minute. I hope you're doing well. Uh, how are Yoshiko, Kurene, and Barna alive? Well, no, I think they're dead. No, they're gone. But I, I was responsible. I mean, I guess I'm kind of responsible. But wait a minute. If those three are zombies, you don't think that's gonna mean like every other person that. Kinigami 8 in the master in the mystery lab is gonna come back, is it? Oh god, if, if Shachi comes back. Yo, if the chief comes back as a zombie, and we're gonna have to fight them. Ah, uh, this this game's messed up, man. This this game's evil. I, I don't know if I have the heart for this. This sucks. At the same time, though. This is way is no good. We have to sign in the same place. Well, I just want to like, I didn't get, I think it was so freaked out. I didn't get to realize this was my chance to see uh, those girls again. And they, I don't know, even as zombies, they're still kind of cute. All right, I'm, I'm already in trouble. Let's just move on. What? They're cute. What's the letter say? Talk about old fashioned. I know we just got a bunch of people be like, V, really? Zombies? You not know any threshold? It's like, hey, hey, as the CEO of the Connoisseurs of the Culture, I appreciate, well, I guess I normally would say all walks of culture life or something like that, but I guess in this case, on life, details, semantics, it doesn't matter. What does it say? I as well on my day off. Oh, how is it? How are you enjoying your day off, my friend? Uh, that was the Phantom Knight, by the way. Warning. Homunculi are predisposed to eating human flesh in order to maintain the artificial organic synthesis in their cells. Wait, they're homunculus? Homunculi? So they're not zombies? Oh, I don't understand anymore. Currently, there are no alternate sources of nutrition, and they grow sick if they do not consume human flesh. That's basically zombies. Particularly malnourished specimens will attack any human on sight. So please do your best to be careful. From the Amaterasu Homunculus Research Department. Oh, who sent us that? A homunculi? So they are the homunculi. Attack humans? They eat human flesh. Wait, so those zombies roaming around here are homunculus. They that's why it makes sense now. Those were homunculi? 
and somehow they got Warna and Kurene and Yoshiko. Which I don't know the threshold of time it's been since chapter two. But even still though, that's absurd. That is so like bonkers, dude. I, I don't even know. There are other words I would love to say, but I am trying to grow as a content creator and I can't say certain words. So we'll just let your imagination run with that. Then Yoshiko and the others back there were just homunculi too? But they looked so real. What exactly are they? The homunculi who wander around the restricted areas seem to subsist on human flesh. But why? What? Why? Why does it have to be human flesh? And again, that's still zombies. And yeah, that may be a stereotype. But still, like, what? Why? Why? Why did it have to be human flesh? Why can't it be like? I don't know. Why can't it be like burgers or something? No, wait. What's what's the stuff that uh? What is it that people like in in Kanai? The, the meat buns. Make them eat meat buns. Those things are, like, apparently everyone loves them. Just give them meat buns. They're like, uh, meat buns are okay. We'd rather prefer humans because it's like a fine dining meal, but meat buns are like junk food, so I guess it'll do. Like, I'm certain there's got to be other foods we can give them instead of human flesh. Although I'm making a joke, but I'm also got to, I'm glossing over something very serious here. Who sent us this, like, notice that told us? We need to leave this village right now. Yeah. I don't even want to imagine what'll happen if they catch us. We gotta get out of here. Are my friend or the other master detectives still out here? I hope not, man. I'll tell you right now, Yasuhiko would have been eaten by them in a heartbeat. He'd be like, ooh, Yoshika, Kurene, Warna, nice to see you. Ah! I guarantee you. And yes, I know I'm, I'm putting Desahiko on blast here, but come on. You and I both know Desahiko be eaten in a heartbeat. Well, what's over here? Oh, okay. I'm trying to keep an eye out for like blue things. I found two in this chapter already. I've got to hope that there's going to be some more gumshoe gabs around here. No? Okay. Coming in. Please don't be any... Or, I'm about to say zombies. Homunculi. Same difference, really. I don't care if people assume I'm doing a stereotype. It is dark and I cannot see. Oh, there's a zombie over there. Homunculus. Wait, is that the priest? The one sitting over there. That's the is priest that from chapter the one. Priest from the mailman case? Oh no, he's gone too. Is it everybody? It's gonna be. I got. I'm calling it right now. I'm gonna see. Freaking, uh, who, who else? Cardi, uh, the Shachi, the chief. Actually, will we see Shachi? It seems to be all the culprits so far. I wouldn't be surprised, man. I, I'm, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna cry. That one seems a bit calmer than the rest. Maybe we can talk to him. I don't think we should. I didn't like him at first because he still doesn't open his eyes. I know it's an old bit that I made way long ago, but I stand by it. Anybody who doesn't open their eyes to see and yet can still see is evil. What? This is a bad idea. <laughs> but what other choice do we have? Yeah, okay. Yuma, uh, please be careful. Yeah. Yeah, you should stand back just in case. Like, and then uh, Kuri's like, man, I'm glad you said something. I was about to be like, yeah, I was just going to go over here, but thanks for being a valiant sacrifice. And you were just like, what? There's a homunculus over there. I don't. Stop already! You'll just get attacked again if you try to talk. What else am I supposed to do? I might learn something new, or figure a way out of here. Or get attacked. I don't have much meat on me, so maybe they won't get out of my way. He looks. I can't tell. Like there's something about his eyes that don't look right. I don't, I don't, I don't trust this. I don't, I don't trust this at all. All right, here we go. Um, father, do you remember me? Mm, we pray to Jesus. You'll be meeting him soon. <laughs> uh, I, 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 
Oh, uh, see what I freaking tell you, you idiot. I told you. I would have been like inched away. Oh, he's crawling toward me. Oh my god, it's Shachi. This sucks. What was that? a Cardi 2? Oh, this game is evil. Oh, and that guy. I, I forgot that guy. These people are supposed to be dead. Who's that guy again? He was in the first way? case too, right? I forgot his name. Ah! Oh, who the hell are you? Get off me! Who the heck is she? That's so not right throwing Chachi to everyone at me, man. I, I, I forgot that blue dude. Whatever. That's so twisted. And it wasn't really that long ago, was it? Ah! Good dodge, me. Wait, who the heck was he? I guess he's just some rando. Yo, this game needs to stop. This game just needs to chill. A fence? Does it surround the whole village? I don't know. You should go check. And then uh, there's a notice right on there. It's in kanji, but it's like electrified. I'm like, wait, you? It's like, what? That's right. This is the restricted area. But I think we can climb over it. I'll go first, Kurumi. You follow after. Great. The fence might be... Yep, it's electrified. I... okay. You want to know how I knew it was electrified? Realistically speaking? Like, I've seen a lot of zombie movies. I, I, I kid you not, I'm blind to this. I've seen a lot of zombie stuff. Like, if it's only... like, you really think a fence is gonna stop zombies? I gotta think there's gonna be some zombies, or a homunculus in this case, that are smart enough to, like, start climbing. Or, there might be a pile of bodies, and eventually the homunculus could just use that pile of bodies as stairs and hop over. Like, there's no feasible way a fence is going to be enough to stop it. That's like saying, like, oh, you put, like, one of those, like, fences before, like, a little, like, dog or cat or something. Eventually the dog or cat's going to hop over that thing like it's nobody's business. Unless it's electrified. Then it's a whole different matter. An electric fence? I knew something was odd. You would have been roasted if you touched it. <laughs> kind of obvious there, man. How are we going to get out of here now? Wear rubber. Oh, right. Icardi. He has a wetsuit, right? It's probably rubber. We'll just pry it off his body and... Nah, it's a bad idea. Let's search for an opening in the fence. Oh, Yuma, look! What? The sound must have drawn them here. The monkey and I react to and are drawn towards sound. Oh, so, like, zombies... I know. <laughs> I bet there's going to be somebody be like, man, how many times V keeps uh, saying the wrong things? They're homunculus, not zombies, V. Just do like a how many times does V say a call them zombies counter? I'm already at like, what, like nine, ten or something? Oh, actually, that one on the left's not too bad a looker. What? Don't sue me. Oh, no. They noticed us. Go cancel me. This game, man. Oh, whoa. oh, hey, ladies, man, I missed you three. Hey, have you done something with your skin, your, your hair? You look just lovely. I really hate the fact that these three are in the position they are. Like, of all the culprits, I, I'm i just saying this right now, and not to justify because they're cute and all, but I'm being serious here. Of all the people that are responsible for all the, like, murders and such in this game, I hate the fact that these three are. I understand it, and I wish there was a different circumstance, but man, oh man. I just wish it wasn't these three. And then the Chief, too. Obviously, those four. Oh, and Chachi. Obviously, I don't want Chachi to be gone. Oh, wow, we got surrounded quick. Open a labyrinth. Oh, we're dead. Ow! Well, oh, that's probably painful. But there wasn't a fence, so we got away. Also, that'd be very painful, I imagine. Master! Master! You passed out again? This is getting old. Wake up! Wake up, stupid. <laughs> Wait. 
Where am I now? Idea. Such an ominous building. I can hear something inside. We're gonna go inside, aren't we? Yeah, okay. Yeah. I guess it's better than standing out here where it's homunculus are gonna massive. Just what is going on in there? Well, we're not gonna find any answers out here. Let's go in. How long of a fall was it? I don't mean I don't wanna know, but oof. No, hold on, I gotta use the construction site remnant. Hmm. It's one of those temporary toilets they always have at construction sites. I bet they smell bad. Hmm? Does that mean some construction work is being carried out? It looks like a permanent fixture, though. It must belong to a toilet collector living near... A toilet collector? Really? I don't think so. That's just gross. Wait, is that a... Oh, hell yeah! Oh, Fubuki's last one! I'll do that in a second. These lights are incredibly bright. I guess this place would be pitch black without them. No. But Yuma, if they're switched on right now. Yeah, someone's watching over this area. You better tread carefully. You just probably do that right now, right? Ubiki's last gumshoe gab? We already did it with Halara. I don't know how I feel about the fact that they're giving me everyone's uh, last ones. I wonder if this is. Is it the last chapter? I don't know how many chapters there are in this game, but we are clearly going to like a big thing that context clues is making me think like people I thought were gone are coming back. We're getting the last gumshoe gabs. It's kind of making me wonder if this is the last chapter or if there's like a bonus one. But at the same time, I don't want to like put too much eggs in that basket because look at how I reacted to chapter zero when I thought certain characters wouldn't be dead and they're dead. So yeah, I don't know what to think. Hell, I surely didn't think that freaking those three girls were going to come back as zombies. So clearly there's no threshold here on whatever the heck is going on. Uh, Viva's book catalog. Novels, columns, essays, all sorts of things. There's no particular preference for genre. He reads just the past time. Uh, depends on the mood. The worse the mood, the sweeter the taste. Okay, well, never mind. I miss Fubuki, man. Yes, I'm favoriting. I'm favoriting. I am sorry to have called you here, Yuma. It's okay. What's wrong? You said you wanted to talk. Well, I hope they're okay. About that, I perhaps maybe Yuma. I believe I may be in love with you romantically. What? I'm sorry. Come again? She no, 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 no. I uh, mm. That's. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not, I, God, I wish that were true, but I can't, man. I can't bring myself to believe it. Does Fubuki even know what that is? Like being romantic? There's no way, right? I don't want to get my hopes up. It's going to be like with Halara's thing where I assumed it was something and it's the other way. It's the other thing. I don't want to, I don't want to believe it, but I can't stop smiling. I, I, I don't want to get my hopes up, man. And I know everyone in chat's teasing me like, oh, V's embarrassed. I am. Like, I, if anyone comes out of nowhere and says, especially someone as cute as Fubuki, comes out of nowhere and be like, I'm in love with you romantically. Do you really think me of all people are going to be like, oh, really? Like, I'm too, like, I got self-esteem issues. There's no way, man. There's no way. And I can't stop smiling because that says how you know my personality is that deep down I'm like, but maybe there's a chance. And now I'm curious, how do we think Yuma is going to react to this? He's going to be like, I'm sorry, huh? Uh, uh, yeah, that, that's probably how I react real talk. Huh? Yeah, that's also how I react. What? <laughs> that's how I was hoping how you react. Oh, did you not hear me? Then I shall say it again. <laughs> He's just like, she has her fists out. You notice that they're bunched up. She's like, oh. I guess today is the day a Fubuki dies, huh? I may be in love with you romantically, Yuma. What? 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 Why, why are you prepared for a fight? Whenever I think of you, my heart feels warm and fuzzy. It's so anguished as well. 
I thought maybe this is the romantic feeling that people keep talking about. What's the catch? That has to be a catch, man. I don't, I don't, I can't. I, this game's doing this too much to me. It keeps like, it, it's like putting a dog treat over a dog and you want, the dog wants to eat it and you keep saying no and the dog's like salivating and looking all sad and miserable. Like keep dangling these treats before my nose and I'm like, all right, V, here you go. You finally get a reward. And then, and, 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 like this happens. Like how, how am I supposed to react to this? You know, I, I, wow, oh man, my friend was right. <laughs> One of my IRL friends pointed out that whenever I get like flustered or embarrassed, uh, that two things happen to me, depending on like the level of how like flustered or embarrassed I am. Apparently I stammer a lot or my accent comes out and I I get kind of embarrassed by, by both of those. And I, 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 I don't, wow, <laughs> okay. Just, never mind, let's just play the game. That's impossible. Possible. There must be some confusion. Maybe your mind is playing tricks on you. If someone as attractive as you would never fall for someone like me. <laughs> exactly how I react. Oh, hardly. Oh, do you really think so? I find you quite an attractive man, Yuma. Oh, I'm getting baited. And no one's here to like bring me down to reality either. I I can't believe you think that. I'm attractive, really? Hey! Quit being all happy about it! Well, I did not bring you here today to confess these feelings to you. Huh? Rather, if these truly are romantic feelings, I wish to thank you for them. Huh? Thank me? I'm confused. More than normal. To tell you the truth, I have never had romantic feelings for anyone until now. I have had an arranged fiancé ever since I was little. Due to that, I subconsciously kept myself from falling for anyone. Okay. Although I yearned for those feelings of love, I knew I must not harbor them. Oh. I worried I would never fall in love. I have always felt such disappointment in myself because of it. But now, I have fallen for you and can experience what it is like. Hence why you're thanking me. I'm sorry. I'm still confused. So, I wish to thank you for helping me learn what romance is. That is all. I just wanted to give my thanks. Oh. Oh. In that case, I'm glad I could help. I guess? I'm so confused. I don't know what to, I don't know how to react. I, I, I don't know how to react, like, at all of this. I don't know. But wait, don't you have a fiance? Wait a minute, wait, wait, wait. Oh, yeah, I, just, I was just about to say. Wait, you have an arranged fiancé, but you fell in love with me? Your fiancé is not gonna know about this, and... Your fiancé is not... Well, I gotta imagine, Fubuki's rich and powerful, so her fiancé is probably gonna be similar, yeah? I hope it's not one of those like jealous types that's like, hey, so I, she's mine now. And John's just like, okay, it was nice knowing you, Vitamin DGR. Like, oh, you full named me. Oh, that's not good. Having feelings for someone else is just going to end up making you sad. Not at all. I have decided to talk to my father about turning down my arranged marriage. Really? Are you sure? After all, wasn't that decided by the Clockford family? Of course, it is vital to defend our family traditions and to obey my parents. But I want to do what uh, Desahiko said. I've always what Desahiko said. I'm going to be a bad girl and try it out. It seems like it'd be interesting. Going against what Daddy wants might be appealing, is what Desahiko said. And then you were just like, freaking Desahiko. Nah, <laughs> that was funny. All my life. I have lived with that as my highest priority. But now, I have decided to forge my own future. I have been thinking about it ever since I started working with you all at the agency. I see. Okay. She's choosing her own future. I'm glad she can look at it that way. I'm happy for her. Me too. Like, jokes aside, it's good that she's actually taking initiative and not letting her family dictate that. Because I remember talking about that before. I'm, I don't like when you're forced to live life against your wishes. 
Like, if you have the ability to do your life how you want without having to be as restricted, like, yeah, we need balance. Yeah, I'm not saying we can't not live without laws or order. But if someone's telling you how to live your life, there's no fun in that. But even still, I think you may be mistaken about your feelings for me. Yeah, right? Like, there's no way. She's, she likes the idea of, of me. There's, there's no way she actually likes me, likes me, right? There has to be a catch to this. I can't bring myself to believe it. Hmm. Are you sure? I don't want to be. It is true I have zero experience with romance, so I cannot say for certain. Well then, how about this? I like how Shinigami has just remained pissed for so long now. Once I am able to confirm with certainty that my feelings are romantic in nature, then, at that moment, will you hear my confession once more? Oh. That's it? I want to say yes! Why is Shinigami still pissed? I don't know what to say, even if you confess to me now. I don't know what to say. <laughs> These are not what I would say. Okay, being supportive. Like, putting aside my feelings for Fubuki. I have to be real here. If she were to say something like that, I would say it's only fair that you truly evaluate your feelings. It would make me the happiest clam, believe me. But if someone were to confess to me that they loved me, but they never had experience and they didn't know it was love, I feel like it would be manipulative. Like, you don't know if, what if they weren't feeling was love? What if it was just like an interest, a mild interest or lust or anything not necessarily like lust isn't strong, but just something not of that nature. It'd be better to truly affirm your feelings instead of just, you know, biting the bullet and just going for it, especially if it may cause pain or regret later. That being the case, I have no clue what to say. So I'm just gonna say, oh, and I don't care if it's a wrong answer. I'm certain the game will uh, correct me anyway. Actually, I really don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. It has to be a misunderstanding. There's no way you have feelings for me, Fubuki. How do you know that? Uh, because you're crazy attractive and I'm me? I... Please allow me to decide my own feelings. I... Oh, I'm yeah. Sorry. Wow. You're right. Actually, yeah, she, she does have a point, huh? I feel like what I just did was basically being a hypocrite. I'm telling her that she doesn't have interest in me, and that's essentially... Wow, I didn't realize just how much of a jackass I just acted, huh? If she wants to confess to me again, then... Well, if you really do have romantic feelings for me, then... Sure. Thank you very much. Please, consider your response for when I next confess my love for you. Would that mean I'd become the heir to the Clockford legacy? I don't even care about the Clockford wealth or anything. I'm more interested in Fubuki, like, completely, than wealth. Like, come on. You uh, the, the priorities here. No way. It has to be a misunderstanding. Uh... I'm being real with you guys. If I were with Fubuki... I, I wouldn't care a slightest bit for running the family. I would just, like, be happy being with her. And of course, there's also all the alternative of what would happen if Fubuki was cut off from the family. I'd be like, I don't care. It has to be, right? <laughs> master, you and Fubuki have forged the ultimate bond together. Good for you, Master. I'm happy for you. Maybe I'm misinterpreting, but it kind of felt like that was forced, her saying that. Like, yeah, I'm so happy for you. Way to go, master. You made it forged a good bond. Yeah. I... Oh, man, that... Oof. I, I, I don't know what to say about that one. I'm, I'm just gonna... A novel, illegal anesthetic, fast acting, and quick dispersing. Wow, that's crazy. Uh, I, I don't know how to react to that whole thing, so I'm, I'm just gonna let, you know what, I'm gonna let you guys in the comment section, YouTube, Twitch, when you get this, let me know how you feel about it on YouTube comments, Twitch, you can let me know on Discord, I already said my two cents, and I also kind of understand, yeah, like, I guess I shouldn't assume 
But I don't know. It's just way easier for me. I don't know if easy is the right word. But if someone were to confess they had an interest in me, I don't know. Is defense mechanism? I don't see the same things people see. Well, obviously, I don't see the same things people would see in me. But if someone were to be like, oh, I find you attractive. I, I don't know. I, I would be like, really? What do you see in me? Because I clearly don't see it myself. And I I would be like Yuma and say, oh, I don't I don't think what you have for me is feelings for me. And then I was about to say Halara. Uh, Fubuki makes a great point. How, who am I to determine or discern the feelings? I'm not them. So I just, I don't know. But I mean, I'll, I'll digress for now. I want to talk about that later at some point, but whatever. Eh, who am I kidding? I'm probably going to forget because now I got to go back to getting depressed because... People are coming back alive, and I'm serious. I saw Shachi, and my heart already felt like it was splitting in two. If I see the Chief, even though it was literally like, I don't know, like a day or two ago, I'm going to cry. Wow, it's funny. I think beginning of this episode, I said I was going to be chill, and here I am getting emotional again. Hello? How did you say that? Why would you shout at that out? What are you... Is something wrong with us? I would not be saying, Hello, is everyone here? I'd be like, uh, We should just keep quiet, just in case. Because we don't know if these people out here are going to make us into homunculi. Homunculus. Whatever. Zombies. Looks like some kind of factory. It's dark and creepy. But it still seems to be functioning. But no one's supposed to be in the restricted area. What kind of factory is this anyway? A factory operating in the res uh, restricted area of Kanai Ward, where no one should be. Maybe it's robot powered. I smell blood. Oh, is this the corpse facility thingy? Huh? Blood? Maybe there's something here that's related to the restricted area. This could be dangerous, but we should look inside. Or. Right. We won't be safe no matter where we go anyway. Oh, okay. I was about to say. Or we could just stay here and just, you know, talk about our day before today. Okay, never mind. Let's just go. Mm, this factory feels so creepy. If you spot any red or green herbs, be sure to pick it up. Ha! Ah, nice Resident Evil reference. That's funny. Uh, I guess I should save. This flipping game, man. Uh, okay, I'll... Uh, I guess it doesn't matter where I save. Oh, but oh, whoops! I'm so out of order with these saves, especially because I can replay the chapters. Yeah, I'm gonna love playing this, but oh boy, here we go! All right, you get out of the way. What is that? I don't know what that is. Why is that machine op? Or why is this machine operating? There's nobody here to run it. Say. I'm getting nothing but bad vibes here. Be careful, master. What is what that? Building in this factory. It's just too dark to tell. Well, it's not really like Let's that dark, going. but I'm trying to like see ahead, but I have no clue what that is. Wrong, Look brown. I smelled something nice just now. Zombies. I mean, the homunculus. Homunculi. Oh, don't tell me that. Maybe, but who? I believe we're gonna ask. Oh, there's another one. Belt. It looks like they're making something. What's on top of it? I don't know. They look like eggs. Go in a bit further and find out. They look like those like egg carton things you get at the store. Yuma? What's wrong? Master? Yuma? Nothing. It's just... I got a feeling we shouldn't go any further. Oh, don't say that. That... that... Aren't you the main one that's been pushing us to go further? And now you're like, yeah, I'm thinking this might be a bad idea. Huh? Why? We might find out the secret of the restricted area. I know, but... Well, how about you wait right here? I'll go and look. That's not safe either. Hey, Kurumi. Master, don't tell me you're scared after coming this 
far. Scared? Of course I am. I just know the truth awaits us up ahead in the guise of a monster. That's so cryptic and creepy, and I don't know what Yuma knows, but that's not making me feel better. Will I really be able to face it? If you don't like it, you can always run away. No. I'll go. Shinigami, are you prepared to go with me? Don't need to ask twice. I'm always with you, Master. Oh, I'm not gonna like it, am I? I save? Oh, I already saved. Also, I didn't touch the door, but okay. Kurumi. What's up, Kurumi? Oh, look. I thought they'd be making something horrible, but it's just meat buns. Oh, they're meat Kurumi buns. Wait, it's a meat bun making factory? Huh? Meat buns? Oh, Yumo was saying I thought I smelled something nice. But why here? Why in the restricted, restricted area? area? Welcome to the Kanai Ward Special Food Facility Tour. That sounded creepy what the is this some sort of tour guide this factory operates 24 hours a day to provide safe and secure food to the people of kanai ward oh so it's like a food processing plant this is where they make the meat buns we always eat all factory manufacturing is fully automatic so there is no staff on hand oh well then what about the homunculi that's running around here so there aren't any workers around up ahead, we shall demonstrate how the specialty food is produced. I wonder if our presence here automatically triggered it to go off. Maybe. I'm not sure. It feels like it was talking to us. That announcement sounds like a trap to me. But we can't turn back now. I've made up my mind. I mean, we could. The, the exit door is right there. You just run. Oh? You're acting more like a detective now. You must have one hell of a mentor. All right. Me, let's keep moving. Yeah. I'm not so scared as long as I'm with you. Oh. My heart. If you confess to me too. I don't know if my heart can take it. Where are these things? Oh, 80. I don't know what those are. Oh, the food processing plant. Uh... Or zombies. Uh. Oh, I'm a pal. Hey, Wally. Man, I missed you. Wait, where am I supposed to go? Oh. It's called a special food facility, but they're just making meat buns. I'll say, where's the other food? Maybe they're using specially chosen meat. Factory. Yes. Yeah, I don't no, think I don't about think that either. It. But my question is, yeah, where's the other food? That was my idea, but I don't think so either. The heck is that? <gasps> Wait, there's people. There's Wait, no, there's some monkey eye. They're coming this way. Wait, did they just eat somebody? They just ate somebody. No, they just there ate someone. No staff in this factory. But there are many hungry individuals wandering about. Okay, that's clearly directed to me. That's not automated. Please be mindful, as they are partial to fresh food. Fresh food? It's talking about us! Great. See? I told you it was a trap! Great. How are you gonna get out of this? We can't go to the mystery labyrinth without a case to solve! How's the mystery labyrinth gonna help us? What, 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 what the mystery labyrinth gonna do to help us out of this? How do we get away from these zombies? And also, did they just eat a body? I saw bones. Uh, to get away from zombies, use sound, use electricity, use the pipe. We gotta use sound. The the zombies hate sound, right? Why is there a pipe though? What what's the question? Let me use sound. I know sound. That's what they are. But what pipe? The zapping sound from the electric fence drew their attention. So some sort of loud sound may distract them. Worth a shot. We have anything? Hey, master, don't you think that arm of hell over there might do the trick? Grab me this. Grab this. Give me. Get. Grab. Grab the thing. Okay.
Probably a good thing there are meat buns here. The sound is distracting them. Also, wait, 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 wait. I just thought about something. Didn't they say there was only one working Amapal back in chapter four? Maybe not. Yuma, look! That spot where the zombies were gathered. It's a body. Yep, that's definitely a body. Walking to. We should really go check it out. Also, that's convenient that that uh, tablet. Oh, I was about to say that's the convenient. You know what it is? There probably are a couple of people here, and that guy was a researcher, and he probably died and chucked the tablet over here for the Amapal. Wait, you don't think it was that one guy, right, with the pretty face? Yo, this chopper's off the rails. I see. Looks like this machine's blowing air into the conveyor section. I said. Well, this is a food factory, so maybe it's to keep the place sanitary. Maybe. Ew. No. Bones everywhere. Didn't anyone teach them not to leave their scraps behind? So gross. These clothes belong to Tesuhiko. Wait, what? No. Oh, okay. Please tell me it's a bait. Please, God, tell me it's a bait. There's no... Please, there's, there's no... They wouldn't... They can't... No, they... they I, no, they can't double whammy me, man. They wouldn't... They wouldn't do that. They wouldn't do that, would they? It has to be like, does he go left his clothes behind? Or something. Please don't tell me it's really Desahiko. Huh? Desahiko? The shorty detective got eaten? I told you he's the first to go. If the funny guys always go first. No. It can't be. I really hope it's not, man. I Please really hope. be mindful of sudden accidents while on the factory tour. You know, I'm starting to hate this, like, announcer guy. If you are electrocuted, fall from a great height, or are mistaken as food and eaten, you will join your friend in front of you. So please practice caution. Okay, that is definitely not an automated message. Someone's watching me and toying with me. Friend? Wait, so it really was Desahiko? Those bones really are. They, no, frick no. I, I don't believe it. I refuse to. There's no way. Yuma. Kurumi, didn't the announcement also say in of you? Oh, that means we're being watched. Who's there? Where are you? What do you want from us? Stop, sound, dude. Getting emotional, are we? As a detective, you should know better than that. Oh, I hate you. Whoever you are, you're a prick. Emotions must be discarded to reach a perfect solution through a perfect deduction. Wait, that's the line for the WDO. That's that's number one's line. You. you prick and a half. Are you sure you wish to make so much noise? They'll start coming after you again. Did you read the warning I presented to you prior to this? They only see you as food. If you wish to move on, you should proceed with caution. That girl's technically not eating that meat bun. She's just sniffing it. She's like, <laughs> mm, I don't know. I mean, uh... Now, please enjoy the remainder of the tour. Warning? Oh man, whoever this person is pissing me off. The person behind that voice has been watching us the whole time. We didn't come to this building by accident. We were led here. Whoever is talking to us brought us here. But why? To break us. Master, look! Huh? What? This is Desuhiko's handwriting. No, oh, is it really him? Really? You sure? Yeah. The handwriting matches the note he wrote me when I did some shopping. I'm sure he wrote it. Then this corpse really is. <laughs> well, they couldn't do it, man. I don't want to believe it. I don't want to believe it. Be like like 
Is there DNA or something? Kanai Ward's history. Kanai Ward was just another remote city in the country. Its development began once Amaterasu headquartered there. Ten years ago, Amaterasu Corporation started their research on homunculi. Top secret research kept from society, which Amaterasu loves for sure. And their client is Yuji, who spent a ton of money to keep the research secure. Did he start rhyming? Is this a joke? <laughs> it sounds like something he'd write, but the content itself is serious. Hey, what does it say? It looks like Amaterasu's homunculus research was funded by the unified government. It was? Huh? The UG paid Amaterasu Corp to research homunculi? I thought that they were off the grid from them and the government got us involved to check it out. That explains why they haven't interfered with Kanai Ward's isolation. I'm, 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 I'm now really confused. I, I don't know. I'm still kind of thrown for a loop. Because I, I really still refuse to believe that's Desahiko. I'm sure they wouldn't want anyone to know they requested such shady research. So Amaterasu had dirt on the UG, which is why they can't say anything. Well, if the unified government is involved, this is becoming a conspiracy on a global scale. When did Desuhiko find out about this? Seems like there's more to it. Why don't you read the rest? Okay. The only thing known about homunculus research is that human beings are created from human cells. Okay. DNA is extracted from a human that will serve as a base, which is then used to cultivate human cells. Okay. Unlike clones, they don't need to be grown from fetuses, and genetic data from the time of collection is replicated. There's no way this is really Desahiko, right? It's an artificial human whose age, sex, and appearance have been perfectly copied. Human cells from DNA... copied... artificial humans? Master, did your brain melt from how complicated this is? No, but I'm I'm trying to think because I, I'm trying to put two and two together, and it's taking me a second. I'm sorry, but and it, it's not helping that if that really is Desahiko, but so okay, they're kidnapping. Number one said that the that Amaterasu's big case, the ultimate secret, is that they're kidnapping. It's involved or involved with um, mass kidnapping. They're kidnapping people. I think, right? Yeah, yeah. They said that. They said that. So they're kidnapping people, and if for what this note is saying, that they're taking parts of humans to recreate humans. So now I'm confused because what what does that mean? So they're Taking humans, parts of humans, and then taking parts of them and making them into homunculi, but what remains of them becomes homunculi. I, I, I feel like there's something there that I'm overlooking, and I'm 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 getting confused by myself. I, I feel like it should be easy, and I I guess I keep like thinking way outside the realm. And it's really not helping that if this is Desahiko, I'm gonna cry legitimately. But I, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to understand. I'm trying to understand. Don't worry, I'll make it all a solution key. That doesn't make me feel better. Desahiko's investigation yielded this report about the Honkus research. How did Desahiko find it? If that is Desahiko, how did he find it? Desahiko must have left this report behind. But I don't believe he's dead. Like I can't. It doesn't feel. I don't know. It just doesn't. I can't believe it. I'm sure he's with everyone else somewhere. Yeah, I agree. I'd rather trust in everyone than believe what that voice says. Yeah. So let's go find them. Do that announcer, dude. Definitely alive. We have to go find everyone right away. Oh no. he go? Does he goes alive? I'm sure of it. I need to find a way out of here so I can check on Desahiko. If they do Halara and Fubuki and Vivia. Hey, can I have some? I didn't think it would let me. Oh, okay, we're back. We're fine. 
I didn't think it would let me. I, I thought for sure the game would be like, hey, don't be stupid. Go, don't go over here. I guess they prefer fresh fruit after all. All right. Oh. Uh, uh oh. Wait, what are they noshing on over there? Who they? Don't notice if you get too loud. Press A by accident. Who are they eating though? Oh, um, can I use this to? No, oh, okay. I was gonna say, can I use it to like distract them? Oh, yes, can. Convenient. Another tablet device. They all were drawn to the sound. And now that I got a look at them, they're kind of cute. Really? How? You got me, man. All right. Seems before there's something on the floor where that crowd was. Let's check it out before we move on. Whose remains are these? Who? Who? Uh. This game's gonna throw someone else at me, isn't it? You think it's Halara? It looks like Halara's jacket. If it's Halara, I'm calling absolute BS that they're dead. There's no possible way I believe Halara would die. Those clothes. It is Halara's things? Halara? Okay. Now I definitely don't believe that they're dead. I definitely don't believe it. Flip you! No matter how strong they think they are, they're powerless against overwhelming numbers. Yeah, but Halara's smart. There's no way they would do that. No, that can't be. Please continue enjoying the rest of the tour. Oh, then what are they gonna do? They gotta throw all my friends and remains. <sighs> Master, look at this. There's no mistake. This is Holara's handwriting. This has to be a bait, man. Regarding the two research facilities, the unified government has heavily invested in Amaterasu Corporation's homunculus research. However, it appears there was another research facility of the same scale, directly controlled by the UG. They had two research facilities compete with one another in an attempt to further promote development. Naturally, the two facilities became rivals competition grew fierce soon they were resorting to any means necessary amaterasu corporation began conducting human experiments but this did not lead to results meanwhile the unified government's research facility gathered dna through extra legal methods extra legal they extracted dna from particularly superior specimens and used those samples as the core for cells Alara also managed to dig up all this. Yeah, see, I believe with Alara. I don't know why I couldn't believe with Desahiko. I think it's a bait. I think they're gathering people. They, like... I think whoever it is, which... may be presumptuous of me, but... I'm, I'm feeling Makoto's got a hand in this. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But this is my guess. I think Makoto is toying with us. Because he's a prick. Um, He captured the friends, but he threw, like... Either our, I think our friends are okay. I can't think that they'll do another chapter zero on us. But they got some of our clothes, our friends' clothes, and they just had other bodies around. And they're just like, oh, well, conveniently, it happens to have their clothes and it also has their hair writing, so I guess it's them. A rival facility to Amaterasu Corp. Things are getting even more mysterious now. Alara's investigation yielded this report about the facility conducting the homunculus research. I have to. Hey, Yuma. Is there something underneath the clothes? It's a key card. Oh, good. I, I didn't notice that. Have you grown tired of the tour yet? Because I sure have. Shut up! Regardless, you deserve respect. You've lost your home, your friends, and I hear you've even lost your memories. What drives you to keep going to such lengths? Punching you! Honestly, if I were losing my memories and my knowledge and all that jazz, honestly, the only thing that I think would get me going is hating you. 
Justice, I really hope it's Lakota. Friendship? Or do you just go whichever way the wind blows? You know who I am? What do you want? Shut up! Don't yell it, Yuma! I should be asking you the same. Why do you want to solve mysteries? B because I've asked myself that many times, but still can't find the answer. I don't know why I continue to solve mysteries, but I was able to save people by revealing the truth. Exposing the truth doesn't always lead to salvation. You should know that better than anyone. You've learned it full well. This person's toying with me, He's toying with my emotions. It's true, I know. I oh. suffered each step eh, well. away. Uh, I don't really care much for a cardi on that one, but. But then I thought to myself, I don't want to see anyone suffer because the truth wasn't exposed. <sighs> That's why I decided, no matter what the truth may be, I will expose it. That is my wish for everyone who has fallen victim. What I'm praying for. Prayer is the loneliest activity one can partake in. Even if your friends prayed, none of you would reach another. But please, carry on with your solitary struggle. I'm not alone. As long as our thoughts are one, we can fight together. And he's got me too. There goes Vladdy taking the spotlight again. He already has me, so he has nothing to worry about. I know I'm not alone. I was able to come this far thanks to everyone else. I'm sure the truth that we seek lies ahead. I have to keep it going. It may be something terrible, but it's the root of everything in Kanai Ward. We'll bring that truth to light. Let's Damn right we will. We'll bring the truth to light ourselves. <sighs> How could this happen? But... Yo ho ho, we took a bite of gum gum. I refuse to believe it. I absolutely refuse. This game's broken me down too much, but I will not be broken completely. I mean, yes, I am broken, but not completely. I, I refuse to just lose here. Maybe I'm too prideful. Actually, there is something that kind of caught my attention. What? Why was that announcement so spiteful toward you, Master? I don't know. Oh. But I'm not going to stop, no matter what they say. Oh, uh, actually... Oh, Master, that was cool! I'm going to haunt you till the very end. Oh, okay, thanks. But... Yeah, where it is really doesn't like me. Well, screw them too. Oh, uh, oh. Uh, Huge turbine is spitting. It must be powering this whole section. Well, that's a lot of metal just to slap some meat buns together. Yeah, I kind of forgot it was a meat bun thing. Who the heck is that? There's someone in there. I think he's dead. Different from the others. That's what you said about the father, and then, well, here we go. We can keep going as long as we remain unseen. Let's leave it alone for now. Oh, I forgot to mention, but they each have individual differences. What? Perhaps there are even some you could speak with. Was that supposed to be some sort of hint? Rick this dude. I don't care. I'm not trusting him. Forget it. It's probably just another trick. Do we not learn for the father? Yuma, I swear if you say we could talk to him and check it out. I hate you! Hey, Yuma! Wait right here, Kurumi. That looks like... Apex? What the frick? I knew it. Oh, no, not Zilch. Apex. No, Zilch Alexander. Sorry, no, Apex is the one I like. Apex is the angry guy. Oh, no. If we're gonna see him and them in Chapter Zero, aren't we? Who's that? You don't remember? You remember the Amaterasu Express? That was our, that very beginning! He's the one responsible for getting rid of Bel me and Poochie and Apex and... Who was the old guy? I forgot the old guy's name. That was so long ago. Oh! The first soul I reaped in the mystery labyrinth! Zilch, the master detective! It was actually a hitman disguised as Zilch. So this guy isn't gonna jump ya? Maybe he's not hungry. I... Was hired by director Yomi. What? Wait, 
Yomi was responsible for... Yomi was responsible for the Express? Wait, so is this... Yomi doing this? Also, he can talk. I wasn't... Yeah, I, that, I almost oh, glossed over that. To kill anyone approaching Kanai Ward. What's he mumbling about? I don't... We have to talk to him. Uh, Do you have to talk to him? No. <sighs> I do it now. I don't want to talk to him. Okay. Um, do you remember me? I'm a guy that you failed to kill, who in a way kicked your ass. Mm -hmm. Oh, Director Yomi. What? No, I'm Yuma. We met on the Amaterasu Express. I was looking for you. Director Yomi. Where were you? I'm not Yomi, dude. At the lab again. You must love that place. Huh. <laughs> I'm getting creeped out. <laughs> like legitimately getting creeped out here. That I'm I'm, 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 I'm feeling very disturbed here. Can't communicate. He thinks I'm Yomi. Which is an insult. Why don't we take advantage of that and get some info out of him? Oh, right. Oh, yeah, good point. Uh, uh okay. Um, what can you tell me about this place, Ape Zilch? Um, do you know anything about this restricted area? Restricted area? Oh, you mean the location of Dr. Wesco's lab? No. No. Dr. Wesco's lab is located underneath Amaterasu Corp. Yes. Dr. Wesco's lab. The new lab was made within the restricted area. Wait, he had two laboratories? Huh? I heard that Dr. Wesco tried to rush the homunculus research in order to beat the rival lab. So they built a lab about three years ago. And started an experiment. I think it was called Project Homunculus. What a great name. Was the experiment a success? Or did it fail? I guess it doesn't matter. Master, you hear that? Project Homunculus sounds important! So Dr. Weska's lab was around so here. So he had another lab here? Years ago. Could this be about the secret research? Well, if he doesn't know if it succeeded or failed, then there's not much more we can ask him. Okay. Well, then I guess I'm going to ask about him, Yomi, me, whatever. You know what I mean? Um, tell me about Yomi. I mean, tell me everything you know about me. Director Yomi. You became director of the Peacekeepers about five years ago, I believe. Five years ago? So before... Okay. Things were good back then. That masked freak wasn't in Kanai War yet. It was the ideal environment for my work. So five, wait, Mass Freak. So five years, so before Makoto came here? That was when I worked as one of your closest advisors. It certainly takes me back. Did he even answer anything? He's not making any sense. I mean, it's, there's something there, yeah. So let's keep playing along for now. We might get some information. Apparently, he used to run the show before Makoto came around, and I guess in fake Zilch's mind, things were nice, so that's something. Um, if you don't mind, can you tell me what it was like back then? Uh, back then, you used Dr. Weska to trade with outside military organizations. 
Amaterasu's growing success was all thanks to your endeavors. You were on top of the world. If anyone dared raise accusations about you, they were shot on sight. Great. Many hypocrites acting as if they were upstanding citizens were shot on sight. In fact, most of them died by my hands. Great. I think I could possibly feel more disgusted. Ha. Ha, ha, ha. Funny, don't you think? I'm sorry, I'm not trying to break the immersion here, but can we give like a quick applause to not just particularly, not, I mean, in general, all the voice acting, but Zilch's or fake Zilch's voice actor, like doing this, I'm, I'm actually getting unsettled by this. Like it's honestly creeping me out. I feel like at any moment I could get attacked. And that's probably eerie is that he hasn't moved. Like, I mean, yeah, he's bobbing up and down, but he hasn't moved close to me. He's just still unsettling to the point where I still feel in danger, even being this distance from him, uh, this distant from him. Didn't Chief Yako's wife get killed for blowing the whistle on the lab's secret dealings? Oh. So she tried to expose the truth and fake Zilch killed her. And Yomi put the blame on Dr. Hueska. So that's what was going now on. Now I see. Unfortunately, the chief didn't know. This freaking guy. Yomi used Dr. Fesco to start trading with outside military organizations. That's why Yomi stepped, uh, was risen. That's probably why he gained so much attention and power. Like, think about it realistically. Like, yeah, he was the chief of the peacekeepers. That had to have been a reason why so many people were loyal to him, despite his more, like, you know, vicious, cruel tendencies. Like, there wasn't enough, like, good peacekeepers that were like, yeah, okay, I don't know about this one. Because they were shot on sight. So, Damn. but I wore changed thanks to that masked freak. It's all his fault. Hmm? He started talking again. He's talking about Makoto. That bastard appeared. Uh, when was it? Yeah. Immediately after Project Homunculus, there was that event called the Blank Week Mystery. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's the, the, the taboo thing from last episode. There was like a phrase that you can't talk about to the people, apparently. The Blank Week Mystery? The Blank Week Mystery. Unfortunately, all I know is its name, and that it's taboo to mention it in Kanai Ward. Right. You know about that case? What happened? Damn. Kanai Ward changed. Thanks to that masked freak. It's all his fault. Just said that. that. bastard appeared. Uh, when was it? Wait, is he on loop? Am I tripping? He just said that. Around the time of the Blank Week mystery. Right after that, the masked freak appeared out of nowhere. And he became CEO of Amaterasu in the blink of an eye. It's so irritating. <laughs> right, Director Yomi? That freak ordered the homunculus research to be shut down. Who does he think he is? What? Makoto Auto shut, shut it down? Wait, you shut it down? Tell me more, Zilch! Uh, uh, Director Yomi. Oh, let me. I was looking for you. Director Yomi. Where were you? At the lab again. 
Oh, Jeez. Love that place. All right, all right. He's not gonna tell us more, is he? He's stuck on repeat. Guess he's glitching out. Silch, Silch. He's gone, man. Director Yomi, you became director of the Peacekeepers about five years ago. I believe. Yeah, he's gone, dude. Let's just move on. Let's creep me out. Things were good back then. Okay, so Makoto got the homunculus project to shut down for some reason. And Big Zilch is the hitman. Yomi sucks. We already knew that. We already got what we need. Let's get out of here. It's no use. He's like a broken record. Well, based on what he said, Dr. Weska's lab was apparently somewhere near here three years ago. That's true, and was doing it to try and step up Homunculus research. Of course, Yomi benefited from it until Makoto came out of nowhere and was like, ha ha, no. And that's one of the major reasons why Yomi hated him. Well, I mean, obviously, these two always had beef, but still. And something called Project Homunculus was carried out there. Yeah, that too. And then after that, the so-called Blank Week mystery occurred. If we know what the Blank Week mystery is, that's what we need to know. But the real question is what the Blank Week mystery even is. Yeah. I haven't asked Rumi about it yet. It's supposedly taboo in Kanai Ward, but she may know. The Flatty will probably tell ya. Worth a shot. Uh, Makoto arrived at Kanai Ward shortly after the Blank Week mystery and ordered the cancellation of the homunculus research. Which also occurs to me. That means Makoto lied. Because Makoto said there's no such thing as homunculus, didn't he? And now... It's proven true, so... Uh, the mysterious Blank Week mystery is a taboo subject in Kanai Ward. Oh, we already knew that, but okay. Wait, where is Kurumi? Where did she go? Where the frick did she go? Huh? Kurumi? Kurumi's gone? Where'd she go? Hey, keep it down, will ya? They'll come for you again! Don't tell me... they... Got her. We didn't hear anything. If they had, she'd at least scream. But I didn't hear anything. She probably wandered off somewhere. I wish she'd stop dragging us down. I don't think she turned back without good reason. Maybe she really did go on ahead. I better this is hurry not the job. time to be doing this, though. This is so not the time for Kurumi to be doing this. Did Kurumi go? We have to find her. What the hell's that? Is that? Oh, we're too late. I bet flat meat doesn't taste very good. Stop it! I have to do something. That's not really her, is it? Uh, oh frick. Um. Wait, why am I here? Why is there a? Oh. That's all on the map. Oh, it was an olive file. Meat buns. They're disgusting, but it's good for me. Hmm? Oh, wait, whoops. That's Sorry. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bye bye, bye bye, bye bye. Let's go. Is that Kurumi? Wait, did Kurumi always wear heavy boots? These clothes belong oh, they're Vivia's. Vivia. There's no sign of Kurumi. Well, okay, I'm still not believing it's actually Did Vivia. Did the vampire get whacked too? Well, he was half dead to begin with. How awful. Another one of your friends has been devoured. Stop Shut up. That. I'm not falling for it. Master, never mind that. Look. It's a report. This is definitely Vivia's handwriting. Regarding homunculus characteristics, homunculi do not die. Rather, even if they die, they come back to life. The unified oh, government what? sought out and began research for military applications of homunculi. Their nah. desire was to create an immortal army. Dude, I called it super soldiers. What did I say? They get homunculus to make the ultimate things because everybody knows whenever there's like something of that nature around, whatever reason, it's always got to be for the military. It's always got to be for warfare. Like, if we discover, like, the ability to teleport, or, or I, like, if I came out of nowhere, it was like, dude, guys, I had the ability to shoot fire from my hands. 
Immediately, I already know researchers are gonna detain me and be like, hello, is this uh, the resident of B, aka Biomed DGR? Be like, yes. Like, cool. They're gonna detain me, experiment on me, and be like, all right, how can we use this for military warfare? It's always for fighting. Why can't we ever just have something for like, you know, something convenient? Like, oh, I have the power to like shoot fire from my hands. So we don't need to go to an oven. Just put that pizza pie, uh, the pizza stone on top of my hand. I got you. Or, or uh, we need something for fireplace. Uh, need to set the fireplace on. Boom, I got it. It's, it's always got to be something warfare. It's never been, like something small and not necessarily crazy. Like if I have the power to like, I don't know, harvest wind to make blades. I can use it to like mow the lawn or something. I don't know. Like it's never, <sighs> whatever. Homunculi look identical to humans. You cannot tell them apart from one another in everyday life. They can become injured and ill. Some are handicapped, some are blind. But once they die, everything is repaired upon revival. That's... nuts. Death acts as the switch for rebuilding their cells. It only takes one day. A day? Wait, if they die, they come back in a day? They are immortal and even have eternal youth. Their cells may grow, but they never deteriorate. Jealous. They stop aging once their bodies stop growing. Those who have already stopped growing maintain that state. There are many unknowns regarding homunculus memory, but they seem to inherit those of their originals. The memories at the time of DNA extraction are carried over and completely reconstructed in the brain's memory field. It keeps the original's so, memories? Does that mean the homunculus are... I, I, I'm, I'm unfortunately simplifying this in my brain, but I'm thinking of like clones. Does it mean like the clones, just to simplify, are aware that they're homunculus or homunculi in this case? I mean, it's crazy that they live lives, they have all these capabilities, and if they die, they just come back, but it's still absurd though. And it keeps the memories of the original? None of them seem to have their memories though. That's true, at least well, those guys. Zulch did remember the past. Maybe that's the individual differences that was mentioned. Oh, fair, fair. Anyway, there's more to the report. What does it say? There's only one way to tell a homunculus and a human apart. Blood. Homunculi have special characteristics to their blood. Their blood's characteristics? That's the only way to tell them apart. Hey. Wait. What the frick is that in the background? I just noticed that. Vivian's investigation yielded this report about homunculus characteristics. Wait, is there someone in the background? Wait, who the hell is that? Hey, wait! What the frick? Someone's hobbling? Get the hell back here! Do you see that person? Oh. Oh, I don't have much time though. Ah, oh, frick! You're gonna follow it? It might be a trap. I know, but. I don't know why, but I think it's calling to me. Where'd it go? It went this way? Called by that thing? I have to know. <laughs> then I'll have to call it after this, but who the frick is that? I saw that at the corner of my eye. I was like, that's an interesting angle they put up on Yuma's face. Is someone's hobbling, walking away? The blood has interesting character. Wait, where'd they go? Flip the game. It's gone. Where did it go? Great. And yeah, unfortunately, I don't have the time. Oh. This is... Argo delivered to the factory is piled up. But everything's covered in dust, so it must have been placed here some time ago. I'm surprised it's still dusty despite the fact that it's raining. All right. I hate to do this, but I don't have the time. <laughs> looks like the trash... Oh, looks like the trash cans are all empty. Where was the charge here? must suck at cleaning up, leaving all these boxes around. And what sucks is that it just left me with more questions. No. No, no, no. I'm not trying to go back. Sorry. Left with more questions, and I'm hoping at the end of that file, we'll know. Yeah, see, there's no way. They would have crossed out the information, right? That if they were toast. Oh. Uh, let's see. What's what's the new information for him? Oh, an assassin dispatched by Amaterasu Corporation. After murdering and taking the place of Master Detective Zilch, the hitman killed all the Master Detectives aboard the Amaterasu Express. Under Yomi's orders... He framed Yuma from the crime and was returned to Amaterasu when his soul was reaped by Shinigami after the mystery lab was solved, resulting in his death. Yeah, screw you, dude. 
Although that makes me... I guess I should take back how I felt about Zilch, so... Sorry, Zilch. I hope you're okay. Oh, I'm gonna be brokenhearted if I'm gonna see these guys alive. Zange, yeah, that's his name. Like, Melami and Pucci and Apex, I remember. Zange is one I forgot, but... I don't know, man. I... Uh, I hope you guys are okay. But I don't believe that they're dead, because when they have crossed out, when they've done the pink X over Halara and, and Vivia and Desahiko, and that means we're probably going to see Fubuki next. Of course, they have to save the one that will get me the most for last, don't they? <sighs> all right, folks, I have to call it here. Thank you all for tuning in for this one. I am left with far more questions than I thought. And what sucks is that it's going to be a good week before I do it. And I'm going to be playing a bunch of different games. And deep in my mind, I'm going to be thinking about it. <sighs> and I usually try to, like... I don't know. I don't know. They got me, too. I've been on... This these, This chapter has been just the most emotional roller coaster ever, man. This is, like, the most... I don't even know what to describe. How do I describe this episode? How would you describe it? Let me know in the comment section below. But otherwise, I got to call it here. I... I I don't know, I need, like, ice cream or something to calm down. Like, I don't, I don't know how to feel after this. I'm definitely broken. Got me, Gabe. You definitely broke me, and I don't know... It's only games like this, man. No other game I've been playing so far has got me to this emotional level. Not Persona, not... What else am I doing? Not Tokyo Xanadu, not... not uh, the, Anyway, one visits this freaking game. Like, I, I know I said this in an earlier video, but this is for sure gotta be my top five of this year. Like, for sure. 2024, Master Detective. Like, I I, I, can't, I don't know. Like, I don't know. But let me know what you guys think. Uh, Once again, I, I said this earlier. If you want to try it for yourself, by all means, you get the Switch copy now. Or, well, obviously this video will be out beforehand. But it is coming October 1st here in the West. Unless you want to get the Japanese copy. It comes out in uh, July 1st. But nonetheless, thank you all for tuning in. Go check out Rank, uh, Master Detective Rain Code. I can't stress enough, this game is fantastic. If any of you guys have been watching this playthrough and you still have a desire to play it for yourself just to experience it, maybe do things of your own, I encourage it. I think it'd be fun to just see for yourself. Or if you want to stick with me, because clearly you're seeing this guy... I, I don't know what else I have left to offer. But, I mean, I'm grateful for you guys sticking with it. So, thank you all for tuning in. And, yeah, next episode, hopefully we'll find Kurumi, who... I really hope it's okay. This is just my scenario. I'm thinking the master detectives are okay. Well, okay. It's either Makoto or Yomi, right? They're gotta be ones responsible. They might have captured Kurumi. They might have captured the others. And they're doing remains of people to, like, trip us up. And I'm calling it right now. I'm gonna go through this tunnel. I'm gonna see either Fubuki's body, which is gonna make me cry. And then the last body is gonna be Kurumi's. And I'm gonna be like, dude, they broke me down. And it's gonna be like, I try, I bet you... Makoto or Yomi is going to be like, I tried to destroy you, destroy all your friends, and yet you still keep going? Why won't you just suffer and, and leave this alone already? And then it's going to come to my friends being like, okay, and they were like in jail cells or something. I'm playing something in my head here. I don't know the case. Also, I still don't know the deal with the whole like meat buns thing. I don't know what the point of that. Well, I guess they would eat anything, so I guess it doesn't matter. But I'm also still curious about the whole, like, homunculus research thing. Why Makoto called it quits. What the flip is the blank week mystery? Like, I, I don't... Again, like, I, I thought I would get more answers. And I feel like every time I get some resolution, 50 million questions pop out of nowhere and be like, Oh, hey, I, I'm in your face now. Time for you to obsess about me for the next week. So, hopefully we'll get some more answers next time. So, I, that's all I got. I'm done. I, I'm spent. So, thank you all for tuning in. And as always, I'll see you in the next episode.